So guys, there is heavy tension in River State. So the tenure for the, le the local government chairman has ended today and they are insisting they still want to stay in power. The pro wiki lawmakers, the pro wiki local government chairman, they are in trouble. I mean, they are in real trouble. You know, the local government chairman, their tenure ended today. And some of them are insisting on extending their term in office. Fubara say, lie, lie, it's not going to happen. You people are living. Don't forget that Fubara has not released their money for some time now. And that means they are going home dry. Wiki has ended the career of these people. I mean, their political career has been brought to a stop. Honestly, Fubara is holding them tight that they have to leave their position. So I want you to take a look at what Asari Dokubo to the people of Rivers. Asari Dokubo is fully behind Fubara. He has even come out to warn Tinubu for supporting Wike and using Wike to run down the state. But let me just allow you listen to what he said as regards to this chairman, I mean the local government chairman, whose tenures have elapsed and still they don't want to leave the office. Just take a look at that video. So you love River State? You should not run her down. Only one man can be governor of River State at a time. We will not have two governors. And the people of River State are bigger than Mujahid Dokubasari. River State is bigger than any individual. No individual can take River State people for a ride and pocket us. It's not possible. Local government tenure has expired today. They should quietly go home. If they want to seek re-election in accordance with the Constitution, they should go and seek re-election. But there is no tenure elongation in the Constitution. Their position is tenure bound, and that tenure has expired. Let them not cause unnecessary uh, uh, problem for the people of the state. And I want to advise young people that look, don't allow yourself to be used. <laughs> Most of us, our, their children are not here. And their children have never come out to stand in front of any protest. They are not like Mandela and the children, or me and my children, or anybody. A lot of people, they've not done this. So nobody should be allowed. They were, most of them were with us. Today they are bigger than us. They have become very wealthy, they have become very powerful. But is, is that why you should submit yourself to be used by them? The people are showing people's power. The people have gone on their own to take over local government secretariat. Because it's the people, nobody can say that we voted for three years tenure for a chairman and a chairman should exceed one second of that tenure. So the people of River State are exercising their people power and they are ready to take over until the government is ready to conduct a new election. So guys, also, Asari Dokubo came out to like drag Tinubu for using Wiki to disrupt the peace in River State. You must have seen this video, but in case you haven't, take a look at this. Yes. President Amon Bola Tinubu must reflect. Is it the democracy if or true? This is not somebody else. Is it the democracy you fought for? The democracy you fought for that you are supporting a tyrant to take over your state? That people have become from their party, you celebrated them, that you can't get them, and today they have they said they have not become. Is it the democracy you fought for? Is it the Jew to every vote? President Mbola Tinibu must be able to ask him that you can take River State, take Baeza, and that one fellow who had no entity, who nobody knew, that the corrupt Nigerian political system threw up. And you think the vote of River State belong to him. And all the, uh, the Asiwaju platform are celebrating this non entity at the expense of the people of River State. That River State must not know peace. 
Good luck brought him to. Good luck and his wife. Out of savage love, brought him. Where did he do the Lord? Who led him in his own He's talking about integrity. If anybody is an ingrate, he is the number one specimen of ingratitude. Everything you fought for, everything you sacrificed, you are staking it for wicked. The Prophet says, when your friend, your brother is wrong, support him. That's what is important that the Prophet said. When your brother is doing the right thing, support him. When he's doing an evil thing, support him. And then say, we understand when he's doing the right thing, we support him. How are we going to support him? When he's doing the evil thing, when he's doing the wrong thing, he says, Support me. He wants to be to come out of his presence. But this man, he did this. This part of my child, his father was for us. We have been in front, we have been in front, we have done to the different thing with you. You can take rivers, people, guns. The jobs and the evils who makes up river state, you can't take us for granted. The river state evils are denying they are not evils, they are evils. Yeah. How can you go and say they are being? Where can say they are being? What are they asking? You may not know. What name are they asking? Is it going on? Is it other going on? Blood flowing in my vein. I have people DNA. It's a boom. It's now a bad one. A bad one. These are the characters that the president and the political leaders of who are even denying where they come from. So whatever it is, Amici is a this thing. Uigwe is this thing. Which of them is answering the Bilime? Peke, 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 peke. That of all Bilime. Hey, they are Bilime, people, everybody is Bilime. Peke, 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 peke. No can I go be Bilime? But that is not what I'm talking about. We're talking about democracy. President Ahmed Bolatin, a lot of people made sacrifices. You know Painaolo. You know Alfred Lady. You know them person, one on one. You know Papa Mojiga. You know Ola Oli. People are suffering. I'll tell you a story. I was in my friend's house. I drove in with my cars. Somebody came and knocked the gate. The security man went, said he wants to see Oga. The security man said, Oga is not around. I said, no. I, on the road, I saw Oga's convoy enter. He said, it's not. My friend's wife went to the gate. It was a man persistent. Well dressed man. He said, Ah, Madam, I am hungry. I've not eaten since morning. 
I just won't carry. So she came into the house. When this altercation was going on, my friend arrived. They gave him rice. They gave him garden. And she said, let me do soup for you, for you to eat. So she went inside and brought soup. And she said, hey, he's not going to eat. She should put a small soup to it. He wants to take it home to eat with the children. She had started slowly down magic. started crying. My friend gave him 10,000. We gave him the food. I'm not better than him. I have more than enough. I'm not better than him. These evil people you gather around you will not tell me. Because they've never been with the people. They've never been with the people. Also, the police in River State has assured the people of Rivers that they are not going to tolerate any disruption of the peace of the people. Because as it stands now on the social media, people are being threatened. I mean, the pro wicked people are saying that they will ensure Fubara will not have any peace, you know, for denying them their positions. They still want to extend, you know, their tenure as local government chairman. But the police has come out to tell the people not to panic. Uh, the state want to know what uh, are you doing to foster any breakdown of law and order? I learned that question. And that has to do with my job. My job as a policeman is to protect lives and properties. And that's what we have gone out to do since morning. Uh, we are aware of the crisis uh, that has to do with the tenure and the local government chairman. Uh, we have um, gotten one court order or the other about it. Uh, the court of appeal has um, given an order and then um, for everybody to exercise restraint till 20th of uh, this month, just three days. So we expect everybody to respect it, uh, not to take loss into their hands and allow peace to continue as it is. So when you say we expect everybody to respect it, it is it's, it looks like you're assuming that people will just obey. And we know that human nature is not like that. There are people who would want to show themselves. In fact, we've seen videos circulating online, people threatening that, oh, we are here to chase these people out and counter threats from both sides, right? So just like you asked, there is a palpable fear that there may be a breakdown of law and order. We need you to reassure reverse citizens who are listening to you right now that that will not be allowed. Uh, sincerely, uh, you know, our officers have been out for the past three days. I just finished um, addressing these officers you see here, and I thank them for the good job they have done. And because they have been out since then, four o'clock in the morning, and they just came back since morning. Uh, we are not taking it lightly. We are ready to go. Our officers have been on shore of us. We have had additional men given to us from the headquarters. The equipment has been serviced. We are ready to go. Uh, this is just to assure members of uh, the public that so far as we are concerned, we are ready to do our jobs of protecting lives and properties. And we have um, tried our best. We have warned anybody who would want to take laws into their hands. I want to use this opportunity to talk to parents, to call their children and talk to them, so that their children will not be used as cannon folder in this um, crisis. Are there plans to protect the local government? Uh, headquarters? Everything that has to do with government, every human being in this community will be taken care of. Uh, thank you very much thank you. Thank you. Thank you. that they've taken control and the court order remains the court order because the court has told them that they should maintain the status quo until the court's ruling which is going to be coming up later this week so guys like you have seen it now that Fubara remains fully in charge of River State. The pro wk lawmakers, the pro wk uh, local government chairman all of them they are panicking because in short, their political career has been brought to a stop. They are finished at the moment. I mean, 
there is no way again for them. That is what pride can do to a man. We can proudly drag these people, you know, to, to dungeon. And that is what they are suffering now. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thank you.